This leader is provided to facilitate adjustment of focus. Please be aware there are spoilers contained in this video presentation. Macho, macho pan. I've got to be a macho pan. Macho, macho pan. I've got to be a macho. Okay, that was awesome. So this came out in 2006, and it won cinematography, art direction, and makeup and was nominated for writing music in foreign language. Uh, I can't remember any music from this. And I watched it two days ago. Yeah, the music wasn't the thing that stuck in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember the thing that stuck in my mind. <laughs> was uh, was everybody getting murdered at the end. That's, uh... Del Toro actually wanted to have it just like subtitled in Spanish. Because I've watched like House of Flying Daggers using like uh, dubbing. And I mean, it... It's kind of ridiculous. It's not as good, I would say, because Hero, I saw with subtitles and thought it was really good. And I'm like, God, I wonder what it would be like if I just understood everything they were talking about, like where I didn't you know, have to sit there and read it. I I think that you do get something from the inflection of the original actor. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think there are voiceover crews that can do a good job of of imparting that but i think if given the choice i would read subtitles and listen to it uh, in the original yeah. language i think uh, there's a part where pan's talking where i'm just sitting there going god spanish sounds so awesome at times every sixth word it's like hey pero means dog <laughs> <laughs> okay let's talk about some color correction okay. Before we go, this was the era where they figured out that with color correction you could really change the the atmosphere and people started really leaning into to color correction matrix was 99 and this was 2006 um yeah because so, matrix is the one where it was it was certainly uh flagrant enough that i noticed it for the first time mm. but this one definitely like when she went down to to see what's his face Lady, if he says three times, I'm sorry, three times, don't eat anything. Why are you going to get that grape, lady? Come on. Like those no. grapes didn't look that good. <laughs> they they like, didn't. Not that like, good. You got grapes upstairs. Why don't you just go upstairs and get a grape? But And like she passed it on the way to get the key and all that stuff and then turns around and goes, yeah, sure. Now I'm, now I want to take, it's like. But he was very specific. <laughs> Why are you very specific? Don't eat anything. Maybe she didn't speak Spanish. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very likely. I've seen it before, but like we watched it last week, and it, it's like it still holds up pretty well. It's it's yeah. a good movie. It, it's a good movie, and and of course his vision, you know, Hellboy and uh, Hellboy Two, <laughs> Hellboy Two, <laughs> Golden something or other to have a vision throughout, like. For example, Pan's Labyrinth, Shape of Water, Hellboy, Pacific Rim. They're all very, very different movies, but you can see the parts in it where it's like, oh, well, there, there's some touch there. But yeah, oh, so depressing. <laughs> like, holy mackerel. Do we trust uh, the Fawn or not? Because it seemed like you started where you didn't really trust him, and then it just got worse from there, and then you knew that he was going to kill that baby. <laughs> and then, oh, good job, Fawn. You didn't kill a baby. <laughs> it's like, well, I think you need to set a higher bar than that. <laughs> well, it's like, are we to assume that all this, like, the, the kingdom stuff was true? Or Sucker Punch was kind of the thing I was yeah. thinking of, where is it all going on in her head? Are you the two people what... that have seen Sucker Punch? Probably. <laughs> Sucker Punch is another one. It is really a, a beautiful movie. It's the story so is really fun. weak, though. Oh, the story is terrible. But, like, in terms of, uh, <laughs> of stylish and sexy. One of the things about this movie is that you knew something was going to happen with that knife because they showed her rolling that up in her... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Eight <laughs> like, every <laughs> 45 <laughs> seconds, like, whoop. <whoops. laughs> Got my knife. What's gonna happen with that thing? <laughs> Give me the knife, please. <laughs> please. I want the knife. Please. So to to sum up, like, good movie, but 
but you have to be kind of looking for it. I mean, I could watch it again, but it's like, I have to be in the mood to watch <laughs> yeah, Animal Action. I'd not. I, I think I'd rather I'd, watch Airplane again. I'd rather watch a four hours Justice League movie. than <laughs> No ukuleles in this movie. No, there are not. No joy in this movie. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, I, I think Trent's right. There is no music in this movie. <laughs> there was not a lot of music. That's probably was it, why it wasn't so happy. Yeah. <laughs> That and the death. Yeah. Death and no music. <laughs> and, and the things getting eaten and pulled apart. <laughs> Moms dying, children dying, or possibly going to another dimension. <laughs> the ruler, uh, princess there. Oh, the ruler. That, that's six <laughs> inches. That's six inches right there. Okay, that's, that's three feet. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a ruler now she goes around telling people how long things are <laughs> well i think it's ironic that at the end of a movie that is about specifically about disobedience in the face of authority that she becomes a ruler like yeah that's a strange shift of position isn't it ironic don't you think don't you think <laughs> don't you think a little bit ironic. Hand is making a pizza. A little too ironic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's three with the thumb. Drei Gläser. Okay, Pan's Labyrinth was a weird trip. <laughs> that being said, Del Toro's artistic vision is fantastic. I got to give him some uh, negative points for uh, for almost killing babies. So uh, I give it a two. Two ukuleles. It was a a beautiful movie. And a hard watch. I gave it a two. I thought it was okay. I didn't like all the death. It was kind of a story that I didn't uh, feel drug on and I could barely get through. So I'll give it a two. It's over!